check out the new ClickSense Masterclass, which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance. Enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. Super interesting tutorial today. And uh, we're going to look at how to create your own functions using variables. We looked at subroutines in the previous video. In this, let's look at how can you use your own variable input and then convert that into a function to be called later on. Now I'm going to select, I'm going to create something called a weak difference function. So here I've just said, I'm just going to rewrite it. I don't know why, maybe it makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to say let, um, I've given the name here. So function is called weak diff. So what does this variable actually do? Well, this variable, essentially, it's going to whatever input I give later on for this particular variable, I'm going to give two inputs. One is $2, which is my second input, $1, which is my first input. And essentially what this does is it runs whatever the value $2 is that is in the second position. It's going to run it here. That is, it's going to extract the year, multiply 52 and add the number of weeks of that particular year and it's going to store that number then whatever the first input is it's going to run that again find out the year multiplied by 52 and then add the number of weeks for that particular date so essentially i'm running two dates inside this particular variable and once i do that I can just call it in my table. So here I'm loading a table and now I'm going to say I have something called order date and then I have something called, let's say, ship date. All right. So I want to know the difference between the order date and the ship date. So how do I do that? Well, I can essentially run this function that I've just created in this function. What I'm essentially saying is whatever my ship date, which I wanted to be the second one, run it through this get a number and the first input should be the order date and get that number and minus the two and that is the number of weeks and that is essentially what my variable function says. So let's call my variable function. So let's say that the function week diff that I just created and what is my first value that I want to run inside it? Well, that is nothing but my order date. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put my order date and then I'm going to say what is my second function that I wanted that is the ship date and then I close it but I'm calling a variable here right the function so I need to put a dollar and close it and I'm just going to give it a name as number of weeks cool so what's happening here I've created a function well, I've actually created a variable. What is my variable? Function weak difference. What does it do? Well, when I'm calling the function or my variable, I'm calling, I'm just saying dollar expand my variable function weak difference. What are the two parameters that I'm running through it? Nothing but my order date and my ship date. What happens to this? The ship date goes into this and gives me a number. The order date goes into this and gives me a number and then it minuses the two and the output is nothing but my calculated number of weeks. So essentially I've taken a simple little variable, created my own formula, and then I'm just calling this particular variable as a function later on in my script. And I can use the same thing in my other table as well. I have another table here. And for every row, it gives me the calculated number of weeks because I have order date and ship date and I'm just instead of having to do this everywhere I could just set it once and then call it again and again so it's a super simple way um, I actually saw this in some blog post um, so really helpful and it makes things really simple and easier right yeah hope you liked it try it out um, please leave a like and check out the link in the description below Really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.